Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to install applications on this watch. Before we start, if you want to install applications on this watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Garmin Connect application. Another thing to mention is that it's recommended for your watch to be connected to, to the Wi-Fi network to make the installation a lot faster. And uh, you can also install applications on this watch in two ways. The first way is to do it directly from the watch and the other way is to do it uh, through the phone application on the phone that is paired um, and with your watch. And I recommend the second option, the phone application, because it makes the installation a lot uh, easier and more convenient basically. But first I'm gonna show you how to do it directly on the watch and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the application. Okay, so let's wake up the screen on our watch. We can do it by tapping on it. Then uh, press the start button to open the favorites menu. And here scroll down through the list of apps and functions and find the Connect IQ Store. Once you find it and select it, it will open the Connect IQ Store. If your watch is not connected to the Wi-Fi network, you will see the pop-up telling you to connect. So it's gonna make stuff uh, faster. I am already connected, so I don't need to do that. Okay, and once you open the IQ Store, you will see a must-haves, browse and installed. Must-have is basically like recommendations and you can scroll through here and find the app you want to install and once you install it you can uh, tap on it to install it and the browse option allows you to uh, browse through the whole store and you can search for something uh, more specific. We have trending apps, most popular apps, hot and fresh music and stuff like that. So let's find for example most popular apps Okay, and here let's find the application we want to uh, install. Some watch faces as you can see. Let's say we want to install this one. Tap on the application you want to install. Then tap on the install button. It should be installing. I'm gonna sync the watch with our phone. Let's see if something changes. Doesn't seem so, so I'm gonna tap on install again and check if it's gonna do something now. Oh, now it's searching for Wi-Fi networks, okay. And now it's installing the app, okay. So something bugged out there. As you can see, we have a pop-up. The application was installed on our device. We can tap on the screen uh, to skip it or press the back button. And let's see if it did. So if you go back to the favorites menu with the list of applications, you can scroll through it and you will see the uh, icon of the application you just installed, as you can see. And you can select it, press start to open the app. Okay, so that's how you install applications directly on the watch. To do it on the phone that is paired with your watch, uh, let's move this to the side. This to the side, bring our phone, zoom out the camera. Okay. And this is the uh, recommended uh, way to install the applications because as you will, you will see that it's a lot, of, a lot more convenient, basically more clear to read and stuff like that. Okay, so we have a watch, we have our phone that is paired with our watch. On the phone that is paired with our watch, we can open the App Store. Uh, it can be a Google Play Store or App Store on your iPhone, depending on which device you're using. In the App Store, tap on Search and type in Connect IQ Store and tap on Search. And on the search, uh, search results, you should see Connect IQ Store by Garmin. Install this application. Okay, and once the application is done installing, we can tap on open to open it. In the app, we can tap on welcome, continue, 
check the box, tap on next. Allow the required permissions if you see any. Tap next, next, done. And now you should see the Connect IQ Store, the main page, and you can browse through it to look for the applications. I'm just gonna tap on search and here select the app category and it's gonna narrow my search only to apps. Then you can scroll through the list of applications, find the app you want to install. And once you find it, you can tap on the application. Here we have this big install button, but you can also check the information of the app, reviews, um, you can also tap on compatible devices to check if your device is compatible. So let's scroll through the list. Epix Pro. Oh, here it is, Gen 2. So it should be working. And once you once you decide to install the application, tap on install. It's gonna get queued. And once it's done installing, you will see the pop-up on the screen that the application has been installed. As you can see, it popped out on the watch. It also should pop up in the app but for some reason it didn't. But as you can see, the install button changed to uninstall. So basically it means that the application is installed. You can also check it by tapping on the My Device right here, uh, My Device Apps. And here we have the list of applications installed on our uh, watch. And for some reason, the one we installed didn't appear. Maybe we need to sync the watch with our uh, phone. So I'm gonna go to our watch. Um, and sync it with our phone. Maybe we can do it here. We can force sync through the Garmin Connect. So I'm gonna go open Garmin Connect, sync the devices. Okay, and let's see now. Let's go back to this app. It still doesn't show the app installed for some reason. That's weird, but let's check on the watch. So I'm gonna open the favorites on the watch and uh, go back and here scroll through the list. Let's see if the app appeared and it is here. So it should be also in the Connect IQ store. For some reason it is not. So I'm gonna reopen the app, Connect IQ store. Tap on my device. Okay, now it's here. So basically it had to resync or something. Okay, and the app is right here. So as you can see, it was installed. And that's how you install applications on this watch. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.